But one thing about Metro Cat was... Ah, I don't know why, but I'm afraid of heights. chicos and welcome to this video about things to do here in Medellin, Colombia. First of all I want to say that this is an absolutely incredible city. I really enjoy Medellin and I'm actually surprised by how much I like it. But anyways I'm pretty sure that you're gonna like it too if you come here and I can just really recommend it. Furthermore I want to say that I didn't put this video in any specific order from best to worst so just make sure to stick around until the end that you don't miss out on anything. Okay I would say, let's start off with the first thing, which is Cerro El Picacho. It's a viewpoint here in Medellin. Let's check it out together. Let's go. Okay, just arrived here at Cerro del Picacho. And check this out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is Medellin. It has just the most incredible views. I mean, come on. Also what I wanted to mention is that I took an Uber to come up here but it's of course also possible to walk and also you can um, take like a motor taxi which you will find well a little bit down the way and at first when you kind of enter this this neighborhood here on the like on the border of the hill it looks a little bit you know um, not edgy but it's it's like not such a let's say rich rich neighborhood but also like it's no favela or so but just for you to keep in mind that I was checking it out and it's super safe and people are very friendly and if you speak a little bit of Spanish um, you can easily get like a motor taxi or, or anyways you get an Uber up here. But just for you to know that it's safe to come up here. Also here are policemen around which security area otherwise I also wouldn't have my big big camera out. And yeah, and you can just enjoy and yeah, and I will also fly my drone in a second and so this is, it's not a problem here. Okay guys, let's go, let's go up there and check it out. So Nathan um, just arrived here at the, like at the, at the top. And he mm -hmm. said that he was walking up here. So mm -hmm. Nathan, how was the way up here? Was it was it good? How challenging, was it? a bit challenging, you know. Tiring. A little tiring, but we kept up. Uh -huh. But know? was it dangerous somehow? Or did you feel some like something no. edgy or any no. any anything? No. Not at all. Not one bit. Spot number two is Parque Avi, which is also located in the north of Medellin. You can go there by car or by cable car. Anyways, one very important thing about Parque Avi, it's gonna close at 5:30. Unfortunately, I just arrived there at 4.30, so I didn't really have enough time to check it out properly, like not at all. Also, the way up there with the cable car is just pretty, is pretty dope and pretty impressive. Look here. That's what you get. Just make sure that you go there early enough because otherwise you will have the same problems that I had. But anyways, it was pretty, pretty cool up there. Let's continue with number three, which is just going downtown and exploring downtown of Medellin. Downtown are just so many shops and it's just super busy and there's uh, Plaza, de, Plaza de las Luces, Plaza de Botero with the fat sculptures and everything and it's just a very busy area. I just recommend you to check it out because there you can also see the vibrancy of Medellin because there's so much stuff going on. I mean so many street vendors, street, street food. You see um, lots of prostitutes, you see, I don't know, like everything is happening at once and it's really worth it to check it out and you can just walk around there. Maybe you're a little bit careful with your camera. She just ran me over. 
Um, so, okay, I got a little bit distracted. Over and all, it is, it is pretty safe and it is pretty funny uh, to go there. Spot number four, check out the local food, because actually Medellin has an awesome cuisine. I guess that's how you say it. Absolutely most gorgeous salchi papas in all over Medellin. Yeah? What mm -hmm. do you think? I love it. It's so good. Absolutely yeah. delicious. I mean, come on. Price point, 15,000 peso. That's just, it's just gorgeous. No, seriously, you have to try bandeja paisa, you have to try salchi papas, that's an absolutely must. But there are also so many more dishes which you can, yeah, basically can just buy everywhere or fruits or juices. Anyways, I think Colombia in general has a lot of, has a lot of good food. But here in Medellin, this is something you have to try out because here are so many street vendors and people are generally so friendly that you have to take advantage of it. And just try as much food as you can. Spot number five is Comuna Trece. You can just go there and just walk up the place. You don't need to have a guide because they also offer tours, but you don't need it if you don't want. I went there on Sunday together with Stephanie and we had a lot of fun actually. And we just walk up there and talk to some people. Actually, if you want to watch the video, I can link it up here. Todo bien. Vengan a Medellín. ¿En serio? Obvio. Obvio. Es súper chulo. Obvio, sí. Sí. ¿Dónde eres? Alemania. Ah, de Múnich. Múnich, sí. Sí. Ah, yo diré que es de Banco Suizo, pero no estoy de Múnich. ¿Banco Suizo? Sí. Um, I know Germany, sí. So yeah. Ok, sí, claro, Banco Suizo. <laughs> pero acá mejor, ¿no? Acá mejor. Sí. ¡Ay! Ah, ¡Venga! ¡Obvio! Yeah, that was really a cool experience because you have so good views and we had we had good food and good drinks and it was just basically a big party but a little bit for everyone. There were children, old people, young people, also some foreigners, some gringos and it was really fun. So I really enjoyed Comuna Trece and also there are lots of graffitis Graffiti tour. and if you want to take some cool pictures you can, you can do it there too. And I just like the fact that you can go to this comuna or favela and just go there by yourself without any guide. I think it's pretty impressive. Also, just because of its past, like you, yeah, it just changed so much. And I appreciate that. I really had a lot of fun of comuna, uh, in Comuna Trece. So this is the five things which I would recommend you. If there would be a, th a sixth thing to recommend, they would definitely also check out the nightlife here in Medellin because it's just pretty incredible if you're into it. Anyways, I'm not so much the clubbing type of person. Also, my salsa is horrible. But still, it's lots of fun to just go out and especially in Carrera 70. That's where I have been at least so far. It's in the neighborhood of La uh, Laureles. Okay, chicos, we are back here at uh, Carrera 70, which is the 17th uh, street, which is one of the like most famous or most busiest nightlife um, strips here in Medellin. And you see that they're getting ready there. And it's basically like in, I don't know, like three, four hours, it's crowded with people and it's full of lights and floated and it goes on for a very long time in this direction and also in this direction. Anyways, this is about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you like this kind of format. I'm just, I'm just trying out different, different things here. Chicos, I'm out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that a lot. There you would help me out a lot. And if you want to know anything or if you want to let me know anything, just leave a comment below and have a good one. As always, see you in the next one. Hasta luego. Yeah!